Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Murphy. Welcome back to Celeste. We're collecting all blue hearts from every chapter. This one, chapter two, the old site titled Resurrections. Let's check it out. Chapter two begins right where chapter one left off. If you want to skip the malarkey, uh, the heart is directly above you, straight up from the very first screen. But later in the chapter, there's a clue as to that being the case. Let's take a look at that first. So later on, after you escape from Evil Madeline, or Badeline, as she's commonly referred to as, you find yourself waking up next to the fire yet again. This time it's out, and things look slightly different. So if you proceed one screen to the right, you already start to notice things looking a little different. And if you jump up and left, there's a platform over here that you couldn't see before. So if you just keep ascending, you find your way at the top with a blue heart, except it's encased, and there does not seem to be a way to get to it. Over here, there's a book. It says something. It even says that right here. There's a dusty old book open on the table. A poem is written on the faded page. An apparition, not of this world, but because of it, lurking out of frame. Awake, my heart is a fortress. In dreams, I am vulnerable. So there's a couple things that I would note in the note. One being lurking out of frame, the other being awake and in my dreams. Um, and one other thing would also be if you jump off the edge here, you go all the way down, you find yourself right back here again. So if you piece together a little bit of those clues, you may realize that you should be in the same area, but in a dream state rather than while woke. So you'll find yourself at this screen again. The fire's lit, the letters are scrambled. Again, this is the very beginning of chapter two. First screen. And if you jump up and dash here, screen moves a little bit. You can kind of see that ledge we're going for. But this screen is different. There's no way to get up here. There's no way to dash through the dream bubble. Even if you activated that, going up and progressing through the level, you're not going to be able to go left again. You have to do it right here on this first screen. So how do we make that happen? So there's a few ways to get your dash back in Celeste. One, of course, being touching the ground. Uh, another, the green diamonds that you collect. That refreshes your dash immediately. But one you may not have realized was screen transitions. So if you dash through a screen, you get it back, you're able to dash again while you're in the air. So, if you dash back and forth while climbing here, your screen transitions will allow you to go straight up. And that goes for up and down screen transitions as well as left and right. If you climb up, you'll find yourself at the Resurrection's heart. All you gotta do is just dash through it such a good song so that's it that's all there is to it it's straight up from the first screen no big deal it's kind of a bummer that the hint is so far along in the chapter that you're not able to backtrack from there to reach it but i like the concept of the hint the heart is in this area how do you reach it with the resources that you have and i think waking up in the same area the second time is kind of off-putting like oh i've been here before so it'll, it'll make you think I've been here, I can research this area in maybe a different state, which is the beginning of the chapter. Of course, also, once you know, you know, so you can get it right away when you start the chapter. So in future playthroughs, just start, head straight up, grab it. But don't think that's a one-off for the screen transitions giving you your dash back. That's going to come in handy quite a bit, so try to explore as much as you can using that new technique that you've learned. Chapter 3 video is on its way. In the meantime, be sure to check the video description, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, keep up to date with the live streams, the video postings, anything else going on with the channel. Thanks as always to everyone for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.